In tonight's Health Watch, robots are everywhere these days, from making cars to vacuuming our floors. And now they're invading the operating room. Dr. Max Gomez here to tell us about a young girl who had a robot as a surgical assistant to help her fix her scoliosis. Doctor. You know, that's right. And as you said, robots in the operating room are helping with everything from knee replacement to brain surgery. But robots are especially helpful in scoliosis surgery because straightening the spine with all sorts of screws and rods is pretty risky around the spinal cord. Today is a big day for Colby Alfieri. She's getting one of her final post-op exams from the Chief of Pediatric Orthopedic Surgery at the Hospital for Special Surgery. Even though Colby looks about as normal and healthy as any 15-year-old, the huge incision down her back tells a different story. Like a number of teenage girls, Colby had scoliosis. And it measured about 65 degrees, so it was a fairly large curve, but she had completed growth. So the issue with her was really risk of the curve progressing as she gets older. That meant surgery, but Colby's also an avid and talented volleyball player. So she wanted to make sure that she could continue to play. And convincing her of the need for surgery took some doing because her scoliosis wasn't really bothering her. I was like, well, it's not that painful. I guess I could live with it. But I also kind of knew that I needed it since my curve was so bad. Scoliosis surgery usually involves the placement of a number of screws and rods, all just millimeters from the spinal cord and major blood vessels. Enter the Maser X robot, a third generation spine robot that acts as a kind of high tech GPS navigation system for the surgeon. The navigation allows you very accurate verification of where you know you are in space based on your knowledge of anatomy. Things that are going into the bone, you can verify that it's within bone and not impinging on either nerve or artery or other structures. And now, just a few months post-op, Colby is back at school and playing the sport she loves. I feel great. I feel like everything's back to normal, and I'm really excited to be able to play volleyball again. Now, scoliosis is eight times more common in young women than in men, and most often, you don't need surgery, of course. Braces that stabilize the spine during puberty growth spurts are very effective, but getting teens to wear those braces for many months at a time, you know, often isn't easy. Mm -mm. And what's interesting is what sometimes shows up as your first sign, with that curvature, there's a hump that shows up kind of over the shoulder blade. That's kind of the comp compensatory mm -hmm. hump there. So sometimes that'll be the first thing that somebody will notice on the back is that not so much that there's a curve, but there's like kind of this hump over the shoulder blade. That's your first sign. All right, Dr. Max, thank, thank you. you.